I'm Ross Vance. This is High School Farm. We're a dairy farm. We've been looking to build a new calf shed. What we were really looking for in a shed was a shed that's easy to manage in, in terms of labour, a shed that's fit for purpose and that we're creating the best environment. The area we are, we get extreme weather, and rain, wind, so it had to provide an environment for the calves, accounting for all that. The big challenges that we face with calf health in any system in any part of the world will be challenges with respiratory disease and challenges with diarrhoea. And everything that we're trying to do is, is to try to reduce the levels of those diseases so that calves are healthier, they grow better. A lot of the data that's coming out now shows that how they perform, particularly the first eight weeks of life, has a real impact on how they perform in their adult lives if they're milking cows. So if we can get it right in here, it has a massive impact on, on how they do. Galbeg has been focused on optimizing farm environments for the past 40 years. What we've already seen is the farmers are investing heavily in their cubicle sheds above their calves and often find their calves are in compromised buildings. And actually they just need a cost-effective option to, that brings an optimum environment for the calf. So what the building does is it allows the air to come into the building at a controlled manner, suitable for what the calves require, with the number of air changes per hour in the air speed, and also allows all the dirty air, contaminated air, to escape in the correct area, which is out through the top, through the ridge. And all of that is optimised, so it's all controlled by our smart control system, which is monitoring exactly the conditions inside the building, as well, mixed with the weather, exactly what's going on with wind direction, raining, and the curtain or other systems can open and close to try and optimise the conditions inside the building to the benefit of the car. On any farm, it's that holistic approach to calf rearing, and that's what we're trying to achieve here with SEVEC. And when you think of the calf environment, I kind of think of five different areas, and it's how we can get this environment to balance those five different areas, which would be the fresh air, air speed, temperature, moisture, and hygiene, so how easy is this to clean? and I do feel that we are hitting all those areas. We're working really closely with Ross and his team to gather the evidence base that says this building is good for calf health. So we're looking at things like animal performance, so we're taking weight data, we're looking at animal behaviour, so we've got a, a smart tag that's been developed by WellCalf and that tells us aspects of behaviour and any anomalies around that, so it gives us that flavour for that animal health piece. Really getting that range of data that will tell us how well these calves perform in terms of the key calf outcomes, so that really drives the sort of profitability of what the system will look like. It's really good to see design ideas come to fruition and also hopefully have a positive effect, not just on the business itself, but also on future animal welfare, really. You could see a system like this being adopted on other farms, hopefully, to really improve the environment that they're in with the hope of having those knock-on benefits on health, welfare, production, longevity. This project wouldn't have existed without Digital Dairy Chain. They were very heavily involved with bringing the parties together. The benefit of this funding is that actually we can all take that risk together to bring about a new innovative solution. We're really hoping that getting these calves in a brilliant environment like this shed, they'll have a flying start to life. We're really looking forward to seeing how these calves progress through the shed, progress through the farm and become productive cows in the herd.